Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer and thank you so much for joining me today for October's Horoscope. Okay, I know I'm nearly two weeks late with this, but there's been a reason guys and that is because the energy has been changing so much over the just the last two weeks. Look at all the changes that have happened globally the war has now started with the Middle East all these things that I've been predicting for a long long time are now starting to come true not that I want pain and hurt in Israel and all those the Gaza Strip and all those other areas I don't want anyone to ever be hurt but I have been telling people for at least six months that a second war will start this second war, as a prediction today, which is now the 12th of October for me here in Brisbane, I am predicting that America is behind this as usual. Just like what's happening with Russia, as usual. And guess what? When you've got a war here that started by this guy, and then you've got a war over here that's involving this guy, this guy is going to make sure both parties intermingle. This is the time to buckle up, guys. But good changes are coming for us if we want. So let's get into our monthly horoscope for October. The big rule here for everybody this month is that it's a roller coaster. Things are changing minutes by minute, hourly by hourly, daily by daily, week by week. That's why it's taken me two weeks to be here. Okay? Look at all the chaos in my own life over the last two weeks where I've had to move house and I wasn't even expecting to move until next year. It's funny how these synchronicities are coming to us if and when we're looking for them. So stay high on alert with things that are changing in your specific life. So I've done my research. As you can see, I write down all the horoscopes. I've got them all here. So let's start with Aries. Aries, your emotions this month are going to be chaotic. <laughs> and I'm just going to say it. You know, Aries are the fire people of the Zodiac. And you really don't want to be on the temper temper side of an Aries this month. Okay, so Aries, do whatever you can to keep your emotions in check this month. Don't despair for the end is at the end of the month, things do start changing around. So you've still got about another two and a bit weeks to get through all this chaos. So at the end of this month, there is some clarity and some resolvement for issues that you're now going through. But then you get to enjoy that ride. We're all on this roller coaster, right? Look at me for a classic example. I'm wearing my bird shirt today. I wear the bird shirt. Now, if anyone knows which finger represents the bird, I wear this when I say to the universe, you know what? It's time to start bringing in some good stuff for us all. So it's me saying, stuff what's going on, start changing it. You guys need to hear that this month, okay? Don't get too emotionally involved in what other people, other governments and other countries are doing. The more we gossip, the more we're creating the energy for them to do whatever the hell they're doing. Don't do it. So Aries, your message for today is hot air emotions never bring inner peace. Now we go to Taurus. Hello, all my Taurus people. How busy are you? Thank you so much for taking the time to watch me today because this month for you is not only physically but mentally in overdrive. You've got so much paperwork, sorting out, issues, dramas. Everybody wants to get their little bits of two bits in with you. And so it feels like some nights that you're up until 4 a.m. going through all those processes in your head. Oh my God, talk about roller coaster. So if you just heard me talking about my bird shirt, because I'm wearing my bird shirt today, this is where you give the bird to what's going on. You say, stuff you. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Time for me. Okay? Keep pushing forward with what is important to you. Things are happening for you. 
but allow the processes to occur, okay? And my message for Taurians today is prosperity comes when peace is achieved internally. Very similar to Aries. So if you're on that cusp, we're all talking about that inner peace today, okay? Gemini's. Oh my God. I feel like coming out with, um, I don't even remember, John Paul Young. He sang a song called Love is in the Air. But your song today is Changes are in the Air. Changes in the Air, like the rising of the sun. If you know the song, John Paul Young. Okay? Changes are in your air today. Stay open minded for all the new opportunities that are coming your way. And really absorb all those synchronicities that are playing so you're aware of opportunities that are coming to you. Okay? You've got to be able to make the best choices with what's coming. Listening to your inner self is necessary. But this month more so. As so much external chaos is being created. Okay? Take time out just for you. And relationships will also be affected. Now, my lovely little lady, she told me a little saying for you guys this month. Happy wife, happy life. So think about what those four words represent. It doesn't mean that you've got to have a wife, okay? What are you doing to create that harmony in your own relationships? That's what we're talking about. All right, so now we go over to Cancer. It's your confidence month this month. It's your time to assess all that you've been through. And now is the time to start putting those things into motion. Sorting out the chaos. And again, I'm going to say it. My bird shirt is on me today. Look at all the little birds I'm wearing today. My bird shirt, okay? Oh, my God. It's time to stop listening for you guys, to other people, what's going on, and start thinking about what it is that you want and the opportunities that you want to grab this month because there's promotions out there. There's social activities out there being planned. There's all this stuff where you, in your confidence, can shine. Okay? Keep practicing and relearning how to be you. A message from my lady is be humbled with the knowledge you have to be a mentor for others. Wow, what a great message for our cancer cancerians this month. Now we go to Leo. Oh my God, Leo. Temper, temper, temper. You know, you guys are also the angry ones of the Zodiac. When you get your fire behind you, Oh my God, I'm wearing my bird shirt for you guys today because you guys are all about temper, temper, temper. Put your emotions in check. Are you speaking in those knee-jerk reactions instead of using logic and calmness to respond in, instead, of reply, um, instead of reacting to what other people are saying? Okay? No one is ever angry without a reason no one is ever just angry it's not an emotion it's a reactive response to something else going on so have a look in your own world what's going on with you this this month leo and put it into perspective and say is this something i've been creating or is this based on somebody else doing this and most times it's someone else is creating it so learn to let it go and chill okay so my success, my lady, she told me, success comes through negotiation and being compassionate. No more knee-jerk reactions from Leo this month, okay? Virgo, money, 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 money. Abba sings a song and it goes, money, 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 do -do. must be funny in a rich man's world. It's your month to shine in money, okay? Take a look at bills coming in and what money you are putting out there. Okay, does anyone owe you money? This is your time to stay to say, start paying me back. Okay, time to be spontaneous as well. 
So this is where you make those judgments and act on those decisions of what you want to do. So it doesn't mean that you have to go out and spend heaps of money on a cruise or get a private jet to Mars. We're not saying spend your money that way. It could be just taking time out to have a picnic at a park or go to a, for a drive to the mountains if you can afford the gas. Okay? Time out for you this month is important as well. Okay? We're all over wearing the bird shirt. Okay? The bird shirt. I'm going to say it for every horoscope today because we all need to give that bird to what's going on in the chaos that's being created. Okay, message for you, Virgo, from my lady. If you want commitment, look first at the commitment you have to yourself. Oh. So when we talk about commitment, guys, just to have a little word here with Virgos for a minute, what goals do you want? Where do you want to be in two or five years? Have that commitment to yourself first and then go out there and start getting it going in the universe because watch out for unexpected windfalls this month, okay? Wow, how good is that? So now we go on to Libra. Libra, unfortunately, this is you're the one this month that's not going forward as well as you want it to go. You're still stuck in this chaos that's being created, okay? All right, so what I've written down here for you guys is... You may feel stuck, lost, or just ready to give up on things this month. Please don't, okay? Reach out and talk to someone about any struggles that you're facing, all right? Time to really evaluate where you see yourself in that two to five year bracket. So anyone that's on that cusp with Virgo and Libra, you'll be feeling this, okay? You know, how many emails a day am I getting where people say, oh, I'm lost, I've got no direction, I don't know where I'm going. Because it's all this chaos that, that everyone else on the planet is building and we're getting affected by it. So it's time to start networking. Getting rid of old people that no longer serve your purpose. Get out there and make new friends, new hobbies, new routines. Okay? Start putting into play what you really do want, guys brainstorm with other people and simply ask others for advice or suggestions don't be egotistical and say that you can face this alone guys all right so my message from my lady for you guys in libra changes only occur when your heart accepts the past no longer serves you that's a big one so i'm going to repeat it for libras because you guys are in your frustration month, so you guys need a little bit more time from me today. Changes will only occur when your heart accepts the past no longer serves you. So have a look at all that stuff that you can release out to the universe and say, you know what, I'm glad I had you for the last 10 years, but now you no longer serve me. I'm moving on and I'm moving up and I'm out of here. Okay, let's go to Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. It's your inner self month. It's your Zen month, relaxation and meditation month. So any scorpions out there, try avoiding as much of this chaos as you can. This is your time out month, which means to look at the time within you. Okay, so when you give someone else a time out, give yourself a time in. Oh, sorry, I can't come over tonight. I'm busy and all you're doing is having a bubble bath and watching Netflix it's okay to cancel things to look after you first okay so time to get out the bath salts and soak your feet in an old bucket even a saucepan of salt because when we put our feet into salt water it absorbs through our skin which is our biggest external organ so even if our feet are soaking in the salt that salt goes all the way up to the top of our head believe it or not okay time for grounding all right this will benefit you now as you your intuition and spirituality increase this month this is your zen month okay remember that my lady her advice for you this week do not fear the natural intuition you are feeling. Ooh. So if things do come up when you're meditating, just chill and go with that flow and allow. There you go, Scorpio. Sagittarius, 
It's your turn for the love boat. Exciting menu. It's your love month this month. Oh, yeah. Don't give the bird to anyone this month. I'm wearing my bird shirt. Oh, sorry. Just lost my microphone. Don't give your anger to others. This is your month to love and to be loved and to give love and to enjoy everything love. Oh, I love it. Ooh. Being focused and getting things done is one of your priorities this month. So make sure that you love what you're doing and you will succeed. Okay. All the delays of the past are now washing away. Yes. Time to be thankful for all that you are and all that you have. Well, and to accept where life has led you. How do we love someone is when we're grateful and we appreciate it. Okay? So that's two of the emotions that make up love. So get out there and spread that appreciation, gratitude all around you. And you're going to see so many rainbows happening in your life where rewards are coming because you're in the love month. Message from her. Connecting with your true self is the greatest love you will ever have. Ooh. How much wise is, how wise is she? Wow. So here we go to Capricorns. Capricorn, Capricorns. This is your angels are watching you month. Please don't give your bird shirt out to the angels when things go wrong this month. This is your time to watch out for synchronicities because the angels make other people do their work on their behalf, yes? Angels won't come down and move a car out of your way so you don't have an accident. They'll give you that couple of seconds delay so you're not in that accident. So watch out for those synchronicities this month, okay? Because they are rightfully playing out for you. Okay. New routines and habits are forming. New job, new house, new pets, new children, new love. Everything is possible for you this month. All you've got to go out, do is go out there and start making this happen. Welcome it freely. Accept what comes. And most of all, be gracious and thankful for all that you get this month. If you want a promotion, all you've got to do is go out and ask for it. Fend your case. Okay? Let them know how much you're worth because the angels are watching you money is also a factor for you guys this month it comes in unexpectedly Woohoo! so be grateful for any windfalls that do come over the next couple of weeks okay my message from my girl life can give you more than you want so be humbled and grateful for all of your rewards Okay, now we go to Aquarius, the age of Aquarius. This is your communication and travel month. I would suggest that it's not a month to give the bird to other people. I'm in my bird shirt today. Okay, look, at look, I've got all my little birdies on my little shirts today. And it's all over the back as well. Because this is the shirt that I wear when I want to give the bird to people and say, you know what? I don't need your energy on me. I flick you off and I'm just going to create all this magic myself. Aquarians, this is the time for you to actually get out there, be negotiable. Network and put out your ideas. Even the weird ones will be looked at seriously this month. It's now time to stand up and say what you want. So get that confidence booming, okay? Be negotiable with others. So it's a win-win scenarios will occur. Travel can also be a holiday or simply going to work on a different route. Okay? But always helps to get the energies moving. Okay? So even if you're daily, even if you just leave your car at the afternoon or you get off the bus and you just walk home the same way, do something different. Go for a little walk or something just to get that little difference in travel. Okay? Because it's going to get those energies really moving this month. So my message for the Aquarians from my lady above. She says, 
<laughs> Prepare for great things. Even if it's just in your imagination. For you are now creating the future you want. Wow. Pardon me? So prepare for great things. Put out what your wishes are. Sit there and manifest it at night before you go to sleep. Because it's all coming for you guys, Aquarium. Now, I always keep the best to last because I'm a Pisces myself. Pisces, we are in the Magic Happens Month. Yes! Thank God! I really should have been wearing my bird shirt. And I'm just going to stand up so you can see all the birds on my shirt. Whoops. I really should have been wearing this shirt for the last three years. Okay? This shirt represents when I've just said to people, stuff off. Or I say to the government and the TV, stuff off. I don't want your energy on me. But this month, roller coaster is starting to subside. And we are coming into where the magic begins. So listen up all you Pisces kids. What have you been visualizing or manifesting? Ooh, think about all those dreams that you've had over the past three days three years, three decades. This is the month when Pisces are our most psychic and our manifestations can become our reality. Oh! Oh! Money gains are also coming to us. Oh! Anything you want, you've got it. Roy Orbison, think of that song, guys. Anything you want, you've got it and we can create it this month look at me personally only three weeks ago i got offered this house where i'm now living and i'm already in it how does it happen magic is occurring so trust it don't expect what will come because the universe's synchronicities through the angels work we can't control that so don't try to control what's going on in your life. Just accept that you want changes and let them come to you without your ego being involved, okay? My lady for us, be humbled and accept all that comes to us. Better job prospects are on the cards also. Wow, she doesn't usually tell me about job prospects. But if you Pisces are in a position where you want another job or whatever, go out there. My daughter only said to me three days ago, Mum, I'd like to start doing some voluntary work. Yesterday I found a place. They actually came to me. And they said, oh, by the way, we're starting this place. We're looking for volunteers. Bingo. See how the synchronicities are working for us? So, guys, I'm in my bird shirt today. Because it is the, still the month to give the flick to a lot of stuff. We're still on the roller coaster. But please remember, look inside us all this month. Create what we want. Because the universal energies are starting to change. And that means in our favor. Talk to you all next month. Have a great prosperous day. Love is all. Talk soon.